What is the solar yard? A solar yard is a boat that is entirely or almost entirely propelled and supplied by solar energy. That means uh, solar yard usually has solar panels on the roof because on the roof they are most efficient and supplies the household or household appliances or hotel nodes, as we call it, as well as the drive tray with electric energy produced by solar panels and stored in the meantime in batteries. And could you explain in simple terms how the technology behind such a yard works? When the sun is shining, the sun creates energy in the solar panels. This electrical energy goes to the batteries, will be stored in the batteries and then used for all consumers on the boat. Air conditioning, galley equipment, or sockets in the wall where you can plug in your phone or your laptop. And of course, for the drivetrain, which is the biggest consumer overall, because the drivetrains uh, on a boat of this size, for example, usually has 200, 300 kilowatt by two, because on a catamaran, you usually have two electric motors. And when you drive a little bit faster, this is a huge consumption. And what are some of the key advantages of solar yards compared to conventional ones? The key advantages are compared to a sailing boat, that the sun is definitely more reliable than the wind. Because in the typical holiday areas where people spend their holidays, you're rather searching for sun than for wind. There are only few people going on holiday in typical windy areas. Even a sailor is rather searching for a protected bay to drop his anchor, to spend the night also, and to stay there also while sailing. It's a mere fact that Croatia, for example, is well known for having no wind at all during summertime. And this is definitely the country with the most charter sailing boats all over the world. So it's a clear sign that the sailors are searching for sun and not for wind. So the main key factor is definitely the sun is more reliable than the wind in those areas where we typically are uh, going for holidays. And the absence of noise. A sailing boat is only noiseless if there is very little wind, but then you're usually not sailing, then you start a east engine. If you have six or seven before, which is a wind force for a boat of this size, of course, smaller boats already can, can go fast with less wind, but a boat of 60, 70, 80, 100 feet requires minimum that wind force to move. We are talking about liveaboard boats, not regatta boats here. Typically comfortable boats having air conditioning, fridges and, and all these things. And these boats definitely require more wind. More wind is not noiseless. Yeah, seven by four on a sailing boat is noisy. On a solar boat, no noise at all. Compared to a diesel-powered boat, the advantages are even more evident because obviously a diesel engine creates noise, vibrations, it pollutes the air and the water. You usually have an oil field. If you're in a pristine bay, want to go for swimming and the generator is running, then you usually have an oil, oil field around the boat. Not like that on a solar power boat because there you can store the energy that is produced by the solar panels in the batteries. And even if there is no sun or in the night, you take the power from the batteries and use it for all household appliances, including air conditioning, fridge, freezer, music, light equipment, whatever. And that's the main advantage, the absolute absence of noise, vibrations, fumes, oil films, and of course, pollution of the environment. And what impact can solar yards like silent yards have on the future of the yard industry? I think the world will change with this technology. It will be the same change in the mindset of the people as in the car industry. It was about 20 years ago when the first electric cars uh, came out. Only few people noticed it and they disappeared about 10 years ago. They came again, the second you try with Tesla actually, and they came to stay obviously, but it was a very slow start. Only few believers in the beginning believed in this new technology, but with the appearance of more competitors, in fact, more people got aware of the fact that it's a nice idea, that it really can substitute a combustion engine and that it's really a viable solution to move the car from and the persons in it from A to B. 
And I think now there is nobody left that uh, does not think that uh, electric cars are the future, which is obvious. Most of the car manufacturers will stop to produce conventionally powered cars by 2030, 2035 latest. So then there will be only electric cars. And the same, I'm absolutely sure, will happen with boats. There will be more areas that will be restricted for the use of internal combustion engines. So you only will be allowed to have electric boats. There are more, already some existing, and there will be more in the future. And also the people will recognize that it's the better solution. You have less maintenance costs. You have significantly less running costs. You have much more comfort because you have electrical energy day and night without the need to run a generator, uh, without noise. So it has unbelievable advantages compared to a conventionally powered boat, motorboat or sailing boat because the energy situation is almost the same. The sail does not help you to cook your spaghetti and to cool down a beer. For that, you always need a diesel engine or a diesel generator to produce electric energy that could be again stored in the batteries to power the fridge or the freezer. But on a conventionally powered boat, it requires diesel. A solar boat, it requires sun and in very, very rare cases, some a little amount of diesel. Because if there is no sun for a couple of days, of course, there is a diesel generator on board. And in that case, you start it, you consume a few liters of diesel, but a fraction of what is used on a conventionally powered boat. You have all the amenities and also the safety, energy safety, that you never run short of energy on a solar powered boat because of a diesel generator, but a fraction of the consumption of any conventionally powered boat.